box so another box and probably inside something that will go on here if i open the box you have some bubble wrap oh nice some paperwork from surunoya some i have to nag them for it i have to ask surunoya for the this they send me stickers pretty pretty cool i always ask stickers to vendors in here i have my gomexos ones and they will going on the wand rope and in here i have the artemis 1500 i ordered this reel because why not by the end of the year i'll probably give you an answer on which one is the best or which one is the best for you depending on what you need so i'm grabbing all the reels that i can from the 1500 to the 500 size that are lightweight and have somewhat of a, a good look to it or at least they will look like they will work i saw a lot of reels right now on aliexpress claiming one under 120 i ordered one of them but i'm very very um, doubtful doubtful suspicious of the claims that they make and the quality of the product but we, i will give you a closer look of this reel on the table so this is the box of the Tsurunoi Artemis which is a family of reels mine is the 1500s as you can see on the box but you also have the 800 1000s 1500 which is mine 2500s 2500 sh 2500m and 3000sh they always put a nice bag on the box you also have in here uh, some washers so you can tune your spool if it needs to go a little bit up or down depending on what you need you have the explosion diagram and as you can see the arm with the knob comes on the side uh, the main difference in between the models is that the s stands for shallow spool the h stands for high gear in here you can see the info of the reel on the side of the box and the m stands for a medium spool basically almost all the models have four kilos of drag or 8.8 .8 pounds with the exception of the 2500 s that has five kilos so 11 pounds and the 2500 m that have seven kilos which is 15.4 pounds um, the handle on this reel it's pretty good it feels like a daiwa handle on the fancier models it feels like the same on my tatula the rubber it's i would say like the one that you have on the um i star reels like the i star aurora air it's a screw in pretty pretty smooth everything is very very well machined and uh, this reel it's under 160 grams like most of the reels under the um, with the four kills of drag so the 800 1000 1500 uh, so 5.6 ounces under that the other ones stay under the 200 gram mark or seven ounces or in the case with the high gear versions they stay under seven four ounces or 210 grams the drag sound it's not that loud but i don't mind it uh, it's not annoying when you're fishing the auto closing bail feature it's it works you shouldn't use it the bail wire it's a bit thick as you can see the reel it's very very smooth it's, it says it's versatile there so it's very versatile reel because i think this can hold up on salt water the drag I can say because I tested this reel for a long time since it's, it's 50 euros so 
depending w where you are in the world it's it's starting to creep up on the expensive for uh, spinning gear uh, as I think I told you this is have a 9 plus 1 ball bearing um, as you can see it's very very simple construction uh, the shaft is a bit thicker than what you have on for example the Kingdom Tegman but not as thick as on other wheels that I have the spool it's normal spool I would say pretty well machined and straight so the center it's pretty center you don't have a lot of wobbling in here in there you can see the drag sound mechanism so you have the extractions on the inner ring and you, you have that metal spring that will make the noise i'll just put everything together and i was telling you about the family you have a high gear version on the bigger wheels on the family that they are not that big that will have the 6.2 to 1 and the rest the normal models the ones with the s and without the s and with the m uh, are all 5.2 to 1 now i just pull out my scale to see if the claim of under 160 grams on this reel it's a straight claim from Surunoya. let's check it out if i can put it in a position where it will not fall mid wane as usual it's a struggle i always try to put it and I was able to do it, so 160.9 Surunoya claims 158 so since I have the reel standing on the corners of the scale I would not say it's a false claim but let's just take a quick measurement around the reel the foot is 60 uh, millimeters the spool it's 42 millimeters the overall height of the reel it's 102 millimeters so very very compact even for 1500 uh, size reel uh, overall i'm very impressed with the smoothness of the reel and how tough it looks it looks very tough I would say that if the Tegman is the Pistori, this it's more of a sledgehammer, but still yeah. very refined. Something is on, something very very small, but it's discunked. So this will be for my next video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.